Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing a case of a celebrity stalker gone way wrong. So if you are into these twisted, creepy, fucked up videos in general, you're welcome. Here's another one. <laughs> Rebecca Schaefer was an absolutely gorgeous actress living in the LA area. Rebecca was killed in 1989 when she was 21 and her killer was only 19 at the time. She she was from Oregon and was actually no stranger to the industry. She modeled as a teenager and was also in commercials and had some roles as an extra before having a big part on a major TV show and was quite well known. She had many fans, one of those being Robert John Bardo. He had been obsessed with Rebecca for about three years, but he had a long, long, long history of singling out female celebrities and obsessing over them. He was first obsessed with somebody named Samantha Smith. She was apparently a child peace activist. She died in a very tragic accident back in 1985 and this was about the time when he started to move his obsession over to Rebecca Schaefer. He would send her a bunch of letters to like her fan mail account. He was basically expecting like a handwritten reply from Schaefer but he never got one obviously. Two years later in 1987 he he first made the trip to Los Angeles to stalk her in person. He showed up at the set of a TV show she was working on and security was just kind of like, who is this guy? What is he doing here? So they obviously did not let him in and this did not make Bardo very happy. About a month later, he returned to the area and once again showed up at that same studio where she filmed her show. This time he had a knife with him. Obviously, once again, security did not let him in. Security was later quoted that they just thought he was a very passionate, lovesick fan who wanted to meet Rebecca. And oddly enough, after this, his obsession with Rebecca Schaefer just kind of dwindled and he was able to shift his focus to, once again, other female celebrities. His obsession was kind of like re-triggered when Bardo had some sort of a mental break after seeing Schaefer on TV in bed with a male co-star, which you know, is very like normal if you're acting on a TV show and your character is gonna be laying in a bed with a male character, you tend to lay in the bed with the male actor who's playing the male character, right? He had no logical reason to be so upset by this, but he was pissed once he saw her in bed with another man. This set him off. And this was when he decided Schaefer needed to be punished because she had apparently become another Hollywood whore. She was literally just acting. And that is what is so scary about stalkers is they tend to get really mad at things that the victim would never know would make the stalker mad because a lot of times, I mean, obviously Bardo was very mentally ill, but a lot of times these people are and something as simple as a scene in a movie that he just happened to see while watching TV where Schaefer and another male actor were in a bed together. That's what's so scary is that, that snapped, that led him to killing her. Like the double standard is insane as well that he thinks she's another Hollywood whore, but he doesn't think anything is wrong with the male actor who's in bed with Rebecca Schaefer. Why aren't you mad at him? Isn't he just being another Hollywood man whore? <laughs> so somehow Bardo knew that a really creepy man by the name of Arthur Richard Jackson, who stalked and murdered an actress named Teresa Saldana. Saldana? Teresa Saldana? Had gotten Saldana's address through a private investigator, he decided he was going to hire a private investigator and pay them a few hundred dollars to get him Schaefer's address. He then made his way to her apartment, equipped with a handgun, and even asked neighbors, like multiple neighbors, hey, does Rebecca Schaefer like really live in that apartment? And once he was sure from all of these neighbors confirming it that she lived there, he was just elated. And coincidentally, 
coincidentally, at this same time, Rebecca was waiting on a visitor who was going to be bringing her a script for a movie she was going to be auditioning in. So when he approached the door and knocked, she answered it because she just expected it to be the courier with the script. It's not like nowadays when, you know, someone can tell you, hey, I'm here, you know, or hey, I'll be there in a couple minutes. Crazy to think about. So once she opened the door, Bando was Bando, Bando. Bardo, Bando. So once she opened the door, Bando was looking straight into the eyes of his obsession, which is obviously a big deal for anyone, whether or not you are a little delusional. And I'm not saying that to like make fun of being like genuine, like he was very clearly delusional. As I mentioned earlier, he had sent her fan mail address, like a bunch of letters. And it's actually pretty common for, or at least it was, I don't think it's a thing anymore, for celebrities to like sign autographs and then they'll like have a secretary for them who like mails people back an autograph. And that's actually how I came up with a whole autograph collection. And I actually have a video where I show my autograph collection. <laughs> if you wanna check that out. <laughs> That's self-promo though. But um, apparently after sending one of these letters, he got an autograph and that's kind of scary because I wonder if when he got that autograph, if he thought she had specifically sent it for him, if he thought they had some sort of like connection, who knows. But he brought this autograph with him and like I said, you know, they're looking at each other in the doorway and he shows her this autograph. He told her that he was a fan and after a quote, short conversation. Okay, I just want to say real quick that throughout this video, I am going to mix up Bardo and Bando a lot because I did while making these notes. So I apologize if at any point I say Bando instead of Bardo and that's my mom's fax machine going off. Schaefer apparently asked Bardo to not return to her house, which is not crazy to do. Um, I'm pretty sure anyone would do that if a fan just randomly showed up at your apartment and you had no idea why, you know, you would kind of be like, okay, like don't come back you know, was hella reasonable for her to, you know, ask that. But Bardo was quite pissed about this. He left for about an hour and according to the research I did, he got breakfast during this one hour break before coming back to her apartment. This is when he approached her door for the second time and knocked on it for the second time. And Rebecca Schaefer made the fatal mistake of opening it. According to Bardo, when he was later interviewed, he is quoted saying that when Schaefer opened the door the second time, she had a cold look on her face, which literally could have just been bitch face because when I, like if I open the door and I'm like, Someone might think that's cold. And this was when Bardo pulls out a handgun that he had been keeping in a brown paper bag he had with him and shot Schaefer in the chest. According to Bardo's statement, she kind of like immediately began to fall to the ground and was asking why, why? God, I cannot imagine dying in the way that she did. She collapsed and he fled the scene, but luckily a neighbor did overhear the ordeal and called 911. An ambulance did take her to the hospital, but about 30 minutes after she arrived there, she was legally pronounced dead. The very next day, Bardo was arrested and immediately confessed to murdering Rebecca Schaefer. And he is still to this day in prison, serving life without parole for her murder. So that is just the absolutely horrendous, super, super sad story of Rebecca Schaefer. She was gorgeous, apparently very very talented and had such a bright future and career ahead of her let me know if you guys have any other cases you would like to hear me talk about thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye